are, Sophia? Homemade chicken soup. I used to make it for my husband when he wasn't feeling well. Did you make it for him the last time he wasn't feeling well? <laughs> you know something? We are really lucky that we found a doctor who makes house calls. I know. When I was growing up in Minnesota, the doctor made house calls all the time. For us and the livestock. <laughs> you and the animals had the same doctor? Sure. It worked out fine. Until the doctor started drinking hog liniment and tried to neuter the Swenson brothers. <laughs> If that's the doctor, tell him I have no insurance and no money. If he still wants to come in, he just wants to see me naked. Hello, I'm Dr. Clayton. I'm here to see Sophia Petrillo. Oh, please, please, come right in. I'm Dorothy, Sophia's daughter, and I usually look much better. Uh, this is my friend Rose. Hello, doctor. Rose. And this is Sophia. Huh. What seems to be her problem? Well, her blood pressure is up, and she's a little pale and a little tired. She presently on any medication? Yes, to control her blood pressure. How long has she been on that medication? What am I, two years old? I don't know my own symptoms. I've lived in this body since I was born. If something goes wrong, I'm the first one to hear about it. I'm sorry, Sophia. What seems to be the problem? What, am I a doctor? <laughs> Why don't we start by taking your temperature, huh? Temperature, hmm. He must have graduated at the top of his class. How do you tell me? Uh, tell me, uh, are you new to this area, Dr. Clayton? Yes, I recently moved here. Uh, oh, Miami's a beautiful city. I'm sure you'll enjoy living here. Yes, and I'm sure your wife, Mrs. Clayton, will enjoy it too. <laughs> Mrs. Clayton and I are no longer together. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, uh, tell me, have you had a chance to see much of the city? Uh, no, not really. Well, perhaps I could show you some of the highlights sometime. Well, that sounds great. I'd love oh. it. I'd love to go, too. <laughs> Except I have to wash my hair. Every day. For the rest of my life. <sighs> it's very oily. <laughs> what about dinner tomorrow night, Dorothy? Say, about eight? Perfect. We'll go to Jack's Crab House. It's wonderful. Well, girls, is this dress going to stop traffic or what? Oh. Hello there. I don't believe we've been introduced. My name is Blanche Devereaux. That's French for... Blanche Devereaux. I'm pleased to meet you. Forgive me for staring, but... I do declare, you're just about the most attractive man I've seen in Florida since Mr. John Forsyth performed Hamlet at the Burt Reynolds Dinner Theater. Blanche, might I see you a moment? Pardonnez-moi. Oh. Listen, you keep your bloomers on, Scarlett. He's taking me out tomorrow night. But he wants me. I can feel it. Let somebody else feel it. I saw him first. But we were meant for each other. I'm a woman, he's a man. And what am I, little Richard? <laughs> oh, all right. Fair's fair. But if he has a friend who makes house calls, I can be ill any night this week except Thursday. Well, doctor, how is she? Well, her temperature seems to be normal. But tell me, Sophia, are you taking your medication as directed? I take my medication every day, if I remember. You have to remember to take it every day. Now, I'll see that she does, Dr. Clayton. Elliot. Well, ladies, it's been a great pleasure meeting you. And Dorothy, it's been especially nice meeting you. I'm sure she's all right, but you call me if you need me, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Huh? <laughs> Goodbye, Elliot. Goodbye, Dorothy. Oh, thank you for being a kind and generous God. <laughs> <laughs> 